Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. I am Aditya Mishra and in today's video, I want to talk about the updated pseudocode questions of Capgemini Recruitment Drive. I know most of the companies are coming into the on-campus placement drive and this is one of them. This video will definitely help you to ace your pseudocode section in your Capgemini or the similar pattern can be followed in multiple service-based companies. So let's start. Recently asked questions and most important around it is. So question number one, we'll be solving few sets of questions. We'll let you know the answers as well. Give you some homeworks. For that homework, you need to comment down below with your solution, how you came across to that solution. Cool. So what will be the output of the following pseudo code for array 1 2 3 4 5 so you have this initialize i and n set array 1 2 3 4 5 okay from 0 to n minus 2 i can see the n value is 5 so this loop will only run till 3 okay so let's do it so array of 0 would be equivalent to what a of 0 plus a of i plus 1 so 0 0 plus 1 would be 1 now let's see the element present on this index which is uh, 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 will give me 3. So array of zero element, 0th element would be converted into 3. Okay. So we got 3. Now on the second iteration because 0, 1, 2, 3 iteration will go. Okay. So 0 has been done. Now for the first iteration, this will be array of 1 plus array of 2. What would be the value? The element present on the first index is 2 plus 3 will give you 5. So 3 and 5. So meanwhile, you should also check the options. Okay, 3, 3. You have two options starting from 3. Rest is starting from different numbers. And the second number that I found is 5. And here also I have 5. So yes, definitely this would be our answer. This is a smart way to mark the correct option otherwise you would be solving throughout the series and it will burn your time like anything okay just try to match every step okay is that making sense with the options is that making sense with the options if they are just mark it and go ahead here i have found the answer if you continue this process you will definitely end up having these array numbers in the last clear now question two integer j and m set m equals to 1 j equals to 1 okay array of 3 value has 0 1 0 so a of 0 so a of 0 would be like a of 0th element what would be the value 0 plus 1 and it will be 1 so my array of 0 element would be 1 now array of 1 value would be 1 plus 2 which is 1 plus 0 again so it would be 1 so it becomes 1 as it is okay then we have array of 2, so it will be 2, which is 0, plus 1 will give you 1, okay? So, array of 0, yeah, it will definitely be, because array of 2 is 0, and array of 1 is 1, so 0 plus 1 will give you 1, not 2, okay? So, these are the small problems that you need to uh, look if you overlook this, definitely your answer would be different and they will provide you options in just a manner that if you lose plus one or minus one somewhere, you will definitely find the respective option you want to mark it. So be aware at every stage. A of zero value is one, so it is true. So A of J value will become five. So A of J, so J value is one. So this value will become five. So end of, so M is equals to which is m value is 1 plus a of j a of j a of j so j value is 1 so it would be 5 so current answer would be 6 okay so yes first c then we have 6 yes correct options would be the scene in the last as if we, if we go in the last we have 6 as a second answer okay so you can just correlate right after this video i am the human i can also make some error but Let's see. I will try my best to solve without looking over the solutions. You will let me know whether all the options are or whatever questions I have solved that is correct or not. And let me know the uh, homework question answer as well. Here we have int a equals to 10, b equals to 2, c nothing. So a and b. Okay, so it is a and b. So uh, what would be the binary representation of n? I guess so this because we have 0, 1, 
okay so because we are on 0 1 2 3 so it would be 8 8 plus 2 10 yes this is a binary representation of 10 and for 2 for 2 i guess the binary representation would be this okay now what is c value now we need to do perform and so in and what i know if both is true then only it will be true otherwise it would be zero so yes zero 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 one 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 then zero that zero so yes the c value would be two okay uh like zero one i guess so it becomes one i believe if it is and because in or what happens it would be zero one would be one and zero zero would be one okay so let's check let's check the few kind of confusion you might have so in the, for now the is this value is 2 so what would be the c value c value that we're gonna print is 2 so let me check with the question number 3 option mm, yeah c value is 2 which means it's right we are on the right point okay so now let's discuss the another question which is question number 4 integer value n which is set value equals to 1 like values value equal to 1 n is equals to 45 so value less than equal to n then we need to uh, left shift of the value so current value is 1 so what would be the binary representation so binary representation would be this isn't it so we need to left shift until my value increase the number 45 isn't it so currently i have 1 in the first shift then for the second shift what it would be it would be one zero then you have three zero right away for the first shift so here the value will become two then when again it will be shift by one it will be four then eight then sixteen then thirty two then sixty four isn't it not sixty four it would be thirty six i guess thirty six then sixty four or no, it would be definitely 64. 64. So yes, 64 would be our the iteration, one of the iteration where we're gonna exceed the value n. So the current value would be for 64, isn't it? So right option is 64. If you're wondering how, then definitely you need to study the pit manipulation. What I said is for every instance or every iteration, you are shifting your one or shifting a bit by one towards left side for every iteration you need to shift it shift it shift it shift it so in the last when you are shifting till 32 then in the last it would be 64 there you gonna stop and that particular time you will have your value as 64 i hope you understand this is a very easy question now question number five which is p q r we have p equals to one q equals to four and r equals to six for each r from five to nine which means for r value r value is from five to nine so it will go till five six seven eight nine isn't it so we have seven less than p and and so seven less than p p value is one so is seven is less than p p value is one no so definitely this if statement won't be executed any of the time because we are not manipulating the value of p anywhere in the for loop so it will never execute throughout the for loop iteration so i can see q equals to 12 plus 4 or i would say zor r so what will happen uh it will be like 12 plus okay fine 12 plus 4 first we are on 5 so we need to find the zor of 5 then another operation 12 plus 4 zor 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 isn't it so this way we need to do it but what i observe from this for loop as many times i will iterate q value will become new on every iteration isn't it so on the last iteration which is on 9 so instead of calculating all of these these are based we are overriding the q value in every new iteration isn't it so yes we have 9 here so i will directly count with 9 so 12 plus 4 is 16 12 plus 4 is 16 and 16 is or 9 what it will be so we need to find that so 16 is or 9 would be 25 okay how i already have solved it that's why i know it it would gonna become 25 or let's check it okay so 16 would be 16 what would be the binary representation so 2 8 times 16 so it would be 0 then 2 4 0 then uh 2 2 is a 4 so it would be 0 then we have 2 1 is a 
zero. So yes, sixteen would be one zero zero, like four zeros, isn't it? Four zeros. And for nine, we have for nine we have two times three, two times four, eight one. Then two twos are four one the uh, zero. Then we have two ones are two. It becomes zero. So we have one zero zero one. So it will one zero zero one as we have. Nine. So now in ZOR, what is actually happening in ZOR is one one would be zero. Other value, if we have one, then it would be one. Like one zero or one zero, it will give us one only, isn't it? So we have one one, not one. Okay, quickly one zero zero one one. So we have this particular value, which would be ah uh, zero one two three four. So sixteen plus eight plus Uh, plus plus zero zero plus one. So what it would be? Twenty four plus one twenty five. As I showed, it is already twenty five. Now we need to print what PP values. One plus twenty five would be twenty six. Is the right option of this particular question? So yes, this way you need to approach any of the pseudo code portion intelligently because I already found that at every iteration my Q value is becoming new. So why I will try to calculate it for every iteration, isn't it? So yes, the answer would be twenty six. Now let's discuss the question number six, which is integer p q r p is nine, q is seven, and r is five. So r, which means five plus seven. Uh, zor of q q value is seven. So what it will be? You wanna tell me because question number six is your homework. It is the same flow that you need to do some iteration, and it is very easy because here we are not using for or while somewhere. It is just in one level solution of using bit manipulation. Okay, so let me know in the comment section what is the correct answer that you have. Mart question number seven. You have A B C where A is three, where A is three. Zor, ah uh, C C is seven, and it would be less than B B is five. So three Zor seven. What it would be? So for three, I know for three it would be zero one zero, isn't it? Because zero one two, ah uh, no, it would be for three. It would be zero one one. Okay, because zero one two, two times two and ah uh, one into two power zero is three. Cool. So it would be. Zero one one. Okay, now for seven we have one one one, isn't it? So if we find the zor of it, it will become zero zero one. So now what it becomes zero one two, it becomes four. Yes. Now four is less than five. Okay. Now we are here. If condition is pass, then a value would be changed because a would be three plus c value would be seven. So your a value will become ten. Now after end if c value will become five plus three plus c c is seven so ah uh, ten plus five fifteen so c value would be fifteen now what you need to print a value is ten b value is five c value is fifteen so ah uh, it would be twenty and it would be thirty as your answer very clear very easy questions just need to be very good with bit manipulation because. Anyone can iterate over for loops, while loops, arrays, and stuff. But when bit manipulation comes under uh, questions and stuff, most of the people are not able to solve it. Okay, and in your uh, future test as well, this is very important. And I will be coming with more complex pseudo code questions, which definitely help you out to crack Capgemini or any of the like Essential also do a pseudo code. So these kind of pseudo codes will definitely help you out there as well. So let's solve this particular question eight. Okay, so this question would be your homework because it has a very simple like first iteration. I'll give you some hints. First iteration will be working. You need to check the body, but in the second recursion call, you don't need to check the body because it definitely exceeds the range of if condition, isn't it? So don't need to change the body. Just need to return the statements. Simple. So this question would be very easy. The answer is also easy. Do let me know in the comment section if you are able to solve this question. Definitely, you gonna got shortlisted because your recursion concept is also fine. Because in upcoming videos, more of the recursion pseudo code would be right there for all of you. So start preparing for it. Okay. If you are not able to do, let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I would be taking this question for sure. Now question number nine. Okay, so we have a equals to one, b equals to one. Clear. So a 
zor one. So what is one? So one zor one definitely would be zero, is it? That because in zor what is actually happening? Duplicate value becomes zero. So one zor one will become zero. Then zero and one will become definitely zero. Then we have b zor one then definitely become zero, and its whole term will become zero again. So a plus b value would be. Uh, a plus b value would be a value is zero as we are finding the a value itself and b value is one. So your right option would be one. Clear? Now question number ten. It is at a b c. We have a equals to one, b equals to one, and c equals to seven. A value will become two in the beginning itself. A value will become two in the beginning itself. Now a plus b, which is two plus one, which is three, then definitely it gonna execute this particular thing. So we have b plus c is or a, c is or a, which is seven is or three. Okay, seven is or three. We already saw it would be four. So yeah, we gonna definitely get into because it give me an integer value. A equals to two and B equals to A. Okay, so A value will become two and B value is also two and C value is seven because it's not changed. End of. So what would be the your end result? Your end result would be a uh, four plus seven would be eleven and yes, seven would be eleven in your. Last answer. As you saw the answer already, but don't cheat. You need to do it by yourself. Okay. So we have a massive success rate because we are training people with the real experts who are cracking the product-based companies and the service-based companies. We have more than ninety-five percent plus success rate because we give students like anything. We'll discuss everything, whatever mentioned in the resume and core subjects. Check your communications, feedbacks. Everything would be provided because the session would be more than of plus ninety minutes. We'll be sitting with you until us all your doubts is not finished and we have not given our best. Resume review the cherry on the cake because we'll let you know what needs to be done and how needs to be fixed so that you will stand into your interview. Personal guidance and. uh personalized feedback would be provided because this is the only mantra that you can get it and remember if you know your weakness right before your actual interview you gonna ace it isn't it because you know in the mock you did this mistake you will definitely not repeat in the new one or in the actual one so you will ace for sure isn't it so if you want to if you want to get placed in the company without getting rejected in actual interview just head on to www.primegoodin.in and write away book your mock interviews Before your actual interview, so that you can definitely crack it, and you can make your parents proud by giving them an offer letter in their hand. So we'll meet you with a new video soon. Until then, take care, like this video, subscribe this channel, share with your friends, and we'll come with new content. Thank you.